the previous lesson, you have learned how to distinguish a business loan from a consumer loan. Again, basically, a business loan is used for business purposes. And a consumer loan is for personal or family purposes. While you have knowledge of these two types of loans, then in this lesson, we will focus on problems, on solving problems involving them. Let us first define some important terms. Amortization is the practice of repaying debt over time via regular payments. A mortgage is a type of consumer loan obtained from a bank or other financial institution to assist a borrower in purchasing a property or a vehicle. Let us have some examples. Example 1. Uncle Armando spends every day distributing and selling chicken to their neighborhood. His sincere desire to earn a clean living for his family relates to how he treats with all respect and honesty his neighbors. After only a few months, he earned not only money but also the trust, respect, and loyalty of the neighborhood. All other places around their small community soon buy chicken from Uncle Armando. Earning much, he decided together with Aunt Esther to put up a taripapa, a small market in their place to sell not only chicken but also vegetables and spices. They borrowed 250,000 pesos from a financing institution Kaagapay Incorporated. How much is the total amount of interest if their monthly payment is 5,000 pesos on a 5-year bank loan? So for the solution, Total interest, to solve for the total interest, that is, total amount less amount of loan. So by substitution, for the total amount, we have 5,000 times 12 months, like for 5 years. So that is 5,000 times 12 times 5. That's for the total amount. Less the amount of loan, which is equivalent to 250,000. Okay. So by following PEMDAS, that is, we have to multiply first before we perform the operation or the subtraction operation. So we have to multiply first 5,000 by 12, then by 5. And their product is equivalent to 300,000. Then less 250,000, that is 50,000. Therefore, the total interest is 50,000 pesos. Okay, example 2. Pag-asa Incorporated approached Lenny and offered to lend her a capital of 250,000 pesos to be paid in 3 years with 7% monthly interest. How much is the monthly payment? Okay. So for our solution, the formula we are going to use is P equals R times quantity 1 minus uh, minus the quantity 1 plus j close quantity raised to the negative n over j. Okay, by substitution, we have our p is equivalent to 250,000 pesos equals r or the regular payment is unknown. And then 1 is a constant minus 1 again is a constant plus this is the value of our j. Now look at the numerator, it's 0 0.07 since the given rate is 7%. So expre when expressed in decimals, that is 0 0.07. And then why is our numerator 12? Because our M, or frequency of conversion, is monthly. So that is 12. Okay? So the exponent is negative N. So take note that N is equal to N is equal to M times t. Okay. So our m again is 12 and then y is our t equal to 3. Since t refers to time in years, the given is 3 years. Therefore, when substituted to n, our t is equivalent to 3. Okay. So we have negative 12 times 3 since our uh, formula is raised to the negative n. Okay. Over Again, the value of J is 0 0.07 over 12. Next. By simplifying, okay, look at the right side of the, uh, of the equation. So we have 
when you divide 0 0.07 by 12, that is equivalent to 1.00583. And then the product of 12 and 3, or negative 12 times 3, is negative 36. Okay, that's our exponent. And, and then again, we have to um, rewrite the value of j, 0 0.07 divided by 12 is actually equal to 0 0.0053. So, why is our numerator 1.0053? Since we added 1. We added this constant 1. Okay. Okay. Next. So, when we when we further simplify the equation, it will become 250,000 equals R times the quantity 1 minus 0 0.81118 over 0 0.005A3. Okay. Next, again, when we so, uh, by simplifying, when you subtract, look at the numerator. Look at this numerator. When you subtract 0 0.081118 from 1, their difference is 0 0.81118. 1888. Okay. And then you just have to um, divide the, the quotient of this fraction. Divide the quotient of this fraction to 250,000 pesos. So that is 250,000 divided by the quotient of the fraction. Hence, R is equal to 7,718.99. Therefore, the monthly payment is 7,718 pesos and 99 centavos, or that is 7,719 pesos. Example 3. Anna applied for 400,000 peso loan in a bank. The latter approved the application with the following terms. 8% down payment. 10% total interest and should be fully paid after 3 years. How much is, his mort is her mortgage now? For the solution, mortgage amount is equivalent to the difference between the amount of loan applied and the down payment. By substitution, the amount of loan applied as mentioned in the problem is 400,000 pesos. Okay. 400,000 pesos. So we have here 400,000 pesos less the down payment. Okay? It's not directly given in the problem but it's stated that we have 8% down payment. Therefore, to get the down payment that is 8% or 0 0.08 of, four, of 400,000 pesos or that is 0 0.08 times 400,000 pesos. And then um, when you multiply, okay, when you multiply 0 0.08 by 400,000 pesos, their product is 32,000, okay? And then, the difference between 400,000 and 32,000 is 368,000. Therefore, the mortgage amount is 368,000 pesos. I hope you have better understanding of loans now. Remember, one thing goes with it. You have to be equipped with good management of it. Until next time.